Welcome to teachmeall.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to change the spark plugs and spark plug wires on this 1997 F-150 XLT 4x4 with a 4.6 liter engine. That's right. Now we're going to review with you the tools that we use to do this job. We have eight new spark plugs, a new spark plug wires, anti-seize lubricant, some dielectric grease. Here we have two popular style of filler gauges. We prefer the wire style spark plug gap tool because it's made for precious metals. And we also have a wire that is exactly the correct size for the gap in our spark plugs. Here we have a couple of different styles of 3 8 drive ratchets. The different lengths helps with different situations. We also have three different extensions. Again, those help in certain situations. We have our 5 8 spark plug socket. We have a 10 millimeter socket and an 8 millimeter socket. We also have a universal joint that we actually didn't use, but in some situations it might come in handy. Our torque wrench for torquing the spark plugs. We have a screwdriver, a spark plug removal tool, some safety glasses, a shop light, and some shop towels. We also have a 14 millimeter socket a 13 millimeter deep well, and here we have a longer standard screwdriver. First we're going to gap all of our spark plugs to 54 thousandths, and if the gap isn't right, we use this end of the tool to adjust the gap and be careful. Make sure the electrodes are straight and not damaged. Then regap it. Recheck the gap, I mean. Continue doing this until we get all eight spark plugs gapped. Then we're going to add our dielectric grease to the end of the spark plug wires inside these boots. This will help us get a better connection. Then we'll open the hood. Disconnect the negative battery cable. And then we're going to move the air cleaner and the air intake. Using a screwdriver, remove this large clamp. We'll just loosen it up actually so we can slide the hose off. Doing all this just gives us better access to the spark plugs on the front of the engine. Remove any hoses electrical connections that we have. Now we're going to remove the cover over the intake to access the actual intake hoses. There are three bolts, two on one side and one on the other. And we're going to loosen up these clamps. Remove all these connectors. We're going to slide the entire assembly off. And then we're going to remove this bracket that holds the power steering reservoir in place.
So we're doing all this in preparation of changing the spark plugs. This is going to give us better access. We're just sliding those clips off. Diagram showing the, the plug locations on the block and also the, op, the other connection on the um, coal itself. We're starting with number one. So first remove it. Number one spark plug wire off of the engine. We'll follow it back to the coal. Open up any of these little clips that we have along the way. Following the wire. All the way back to the coal. And once we get to the coil, we'll remove it there. You squeeze those two clips together and pull it straight up. Now, we're going to use our some air to blow out around the spark plugs, keeping trash from going in. Now we're going to use our ratchet extension and socket to go ahead and remove the number one spark plug. Here okay, we're going to inspect the spark plug for any abnormal colors. Then we're going to apply some anti-seize lubricant to the threads. And always make sure we st you start the spark plug by hand and so it doesn't cross thread. We'll tighten it up a little bit using our ratchet. Then we're going to torque each spark plug to 10 foot-pounds. That's otherwise specified. Then we'll take our old spark plug wire and measure it against our new wires and find the match. The wires may not be exactly the same length, but they should be very close. Here we have the match. Now this end already had the dielectric grease on it, so we didn't have to put any on there ourselves. We snap it into place on the coil, reroute the coil wire, exactly like the old one snapping into putting into each clip then we get it into position on the spark plug make sure it snaps into place then we're going to move to the number two spark plug you notice this is on the opposite coal so the spark plug will be longer and run around the front of the engine a little bit Here we have to disconnect one of the connectors to one of the fuel injectors just to get better access and not to damage the also not to damage the connector as we're working around it. Here we're showing you how to open up these clips. We just insert our screwdriver and kind of twist. I know it's easier said than done, but that's basically how we did it. There are several more clips going around the front of the engine. Good thing is, once you open these clips the first time, you won't have to do it again. And also, you notice the old spark plugs were labeled 1, 2, 3, through, through 8. The new ones aren't. As long as you trace back the correct path, you'll be okay. Now we got the spark plug wire removed. We're going to go ahead and remove the spark plug. If you remove any connectors, just make sure you know where that is so you can put it back together properly. We inspect the old spark plug. We put the new one in and put a little 
anti-seize lubricant on the threads. Make sure you start it by hand. And, make sure, and also make sure you don't bang the spark plug going back in because that can affect the gap. Torque it to 10 foot-pounds. Here we're looking at one of the spark plug wires that actually had a bad spot on it. Then we're going to attach the new spark plug wire to the correct location. Route it through all the clips. Basically retracing the steps from removing the old one. Okay, slide the new spark plug boot over the new spark plug and make sure it snaps into place. Here to get to these back couple of plugs, we're going to remove this junction box. We just remove enough stuff so we can get the junction box out of our way. And make sure you have disconnected the battery cable, the negative battery cable, before doing this. And as always, note where all this stuff goes, because we're going to put it back together. Now we're able to get to the number three spark plug. Remove the boot and then remove the connector for the fuel injector. Again remove the spark plug wire from both ends. Remove the spark plug. It can be a little tedious working on these back plugs especially, but just take your time. And it's very doable. Remove the old plug, put the new one in the socket, go ahead and put a little anti-seize lubricant on it. Put it back into place and start it by hand. Tighten it up and torque it to 10 foot pounds. Compare spark plug wires, get the right one. As you notice, we always install the, install the wire on the coil first and backtrace the wire back to the spark plug. And I always want to install the plug, the spark plug wire onto the spark plug, make sure it kind of snaps into place. Okay, and then we're going to move to spark plug number four. Remove the wire first. Trace it back out. This is going to be probably the longest wire you have to deal with. Again, you notice we removed one of the connectors for the spark for the fill injection. Just make sure you know where everything goes back.
and move the wire from the coil. Remove our spark plug. Remove the old plug. Put a little anti seize lubricant on the new plug. Reinstall the new plug. Torque it to 10 foot pounds. Compare the wires. Get the one with the best fit. Install it on the coil pack. Route your new wire. Install it on the spark plug. We're finished with this side. We're going to go ahead and reconnect our fuel injection connectors. Reinstall our junction box. Go ahead and tighten up these bolts. Reconnect the wires. Everything's reattached. We're going to snap the covers back on. Snap the main cover back on. Then we're going to be able to move to the other side of the engine. Start with the number five cylinder. Move the spark plug wire. Remove the spark plug. Apply anti seize lubricant to the new spark plug. Reinstall the new spark plug. Again, we torque these to 10 foot pounds. We're going to compare the spark plug wires. Reinstall the spark plug wire, starting with the coil, and back trace to the spark plug. And then we're going to move to the number six cylinder. Move the electrical connection for the fuel injection. 
injector. Go ahead and remove the spark plug wires. Here we have some more clips we have to open up. Remove the spark plug. Apply a little anti-seize lubricant to the threads. Reinstall the new spark plug. As you probably noticed here, we have multiple extensions at use. <laughs> this is help us, helps us to get to the plug better. We torque it to 10 foot pounds. Find our right spark plug wire and reattach the wire. Storing up the coil. Now we remove we move on to number seven. Remove the spark plug wire. Remove any connectors that may be in the way. Remove it from the call. Remove the spark plug. Apply some anti seize lubricant to the threads of the new spark plug. Reinstall it. And torque the 10 foot pounds. Find our new spark plug wire. Start with the coil, snap it into place. Route the coal wire. Snap it into place. Now we're going to move on to number eight, our final spark plug. Remove the spark plug wire.
We're using compressed air again to blow off around the spark plugs. Go ahead and move this spark plug. Prepare our new spark plug, applying a little anti-seize lubricant, reinstall it, make sure you start it by hand. Torque the 10 foot pounds. Install our final wire. Make sure it snaps into place on the spark plug. Reinstall all of our connectors for the fuel injectors and anything else we may have removed. Here we're closing the, the spark plug holders or looms. Then we're going to reinstall the bracket for the power steering reservoir. Reconnect any hoses we may have disconnected. That's a, one of the clips for on the power steering bracket. Reinstall our intake hoses and everything. Let's make sure we connect all the hoses that we removed when we disassembled it. Go ahead and tighten up the clamps holding intake hoses. Reconnect any electrical connections that we may have removed. Here we're showing the place where the air cleaner, the piece where the air cleaner holds the air cleaner in place. Um, remember the line up the rubber bushings on the bottom or guides? Line these up correctly when you reinstall it. Also, it's a good time to check your air filter. Connect all the pieces back together. Line everything up. Finish the slide the connection to place. Go ahead and tighten up the other connectors. Reinstall the cover over the intake. So be careful tighten all these up as it's plastic. It's plastic cover. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Well, we hope this video will help you change the spark plugs and the plug wires on your 1997 Ford F-150 4.6 liter engine. So any comments you may have to comment at teachmail.com. And as always, thank you for visiting teachmail.com and have a great day.